never saw When I started ballin' I was young So welcome back to a brand new episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in Emily the Show 16. So we just passed All-Star Weekend, or All-Star Break, and the AL won against the NL in the All-Star Game, which is good, so we secured home series advantage, home series home advantage, World Series home advantage in the World Series for the AL, just in case we do make it, hopefully we do, but anyway, we'll go and simulate up to the Seattle game. I have no, I just want to go and play a game where our rookie Nigel Paget's playing, so we'll go and simulate up to around this Arizona series just to see when Nigel Paget is scheduled to play. I'm guessing he's playing around this game, 24th, but anyway, let's go and simulate this quickly. Sim through. Jay Haps ready to be reinstated from the DL, but will be still injured for 4 to 5 months. Uh, we'll auto that one. Yankees, they're offering us a trade. So, Trevor Plouffe, they want Trevor Plouffe for Aaron Hicks, center, center fielder. 79 overall, 26 years old, not too bad. 800k a year he's making. He's not that bad of a player, I actually like this trade offer, but one thing is we need starting pitching right now. And this is not starting pitching. We're getting a center fielder in this deal, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna decline this trade, and we'll we'll look for a trade with a starting pitcher in that, because I don't really need a center fielder. We got Kevin Plar. We're fine with him. So we'll go and submit this. Should play All Star game. Don't need something like that. Doesn't really matter to me. Fix the lineups. Oh, Sanchez got injured. Damn it. Oh, for a few days. So we'll keep him active. He's only for a few days. Russell. Moore. No. He broke his freaking leg. Russell Martin out of one to two weeks. I mean, not one to two weeks. One to two months with a broken leg. Did someone slide into him? Ah, that sucks. So one to two months. We're gonna put him on the 60 day deal. Uh, well, 15 day him. There you go. We won the both games though. I'm fine with that. But we have. Oh no. This I feared the situation would happen. We do not have a good backup catcher. We have Josh Tolley. He's 69 overall. He's not even good. He's only there because Dick. Wait, Dickie's gone. We gotta make a trade after. Sanchez is no longer injured. We'll auto utilize him. We won against Oakland, but I'm trying to stop this trade. I mean, this, uh, this million. There you go. Okay, so we won all those games, surprisingly. I don't know how. Russell Martin got injured. Aaron Sanchez got bruised up, but he's back. And <laughs> Russell Martin's out for one to two months with a broken leg, so. We're probably gonna have to go and sign a catcher pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a catcher in here, obviously. So we'll go to catching catcher. Oh, 66. It's not even that. Oh my. Okay, so we have no backup catcher here. That's any even worth anything. We'll go to the roster, see where Josh Tolley's at. See if he's any good. He's 70 overall. He's not too bad. I thought he was whole, like 68 overall, but he's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought he was, but. Mmm, one to two months though. This is the crunch time here. This is the time where you need to win ball games. I don't know if I really trust myself here. It sucks Russell Martin had to go get himself injured, but uh could we quickly look on the market on the trade block. Is there any catchers on the trade block? Guy. Anthony Recker. 64 overall, that doesn't do it. Uh Kurt Suzuki, 79 overall, 32 years old. What'd they be willing to give up? He's not too much. We'll go on. Our man, Trevor Ploof. Ah, oh, works. This is not the trade I want to be making, though. I want to make a good trade for a starting pitcher. Is there any, like, backup guys we can give up? Just for now, though. We're just trying to make a good trade here. We can get rid of Metzinger. He's 61 overall, 25 years old. D potential. Uh, Alvarado? No, he's 18 years old. It's too bad Alvarado isn't good enough. He's 18 years old, 60 overall. If he was just a bit... Like 69, 67. Probably would have brought him up to the majors, but not at that overall yet. We'll give up another starting pitcher we don't really need. We could sign some other pitchers later. Uh, we'll give up James Katz. No, it's not enough. We need some value here. A guy with value who's very young and are very terrible. I don't know. Very young. These guys are not going to be worth anything. So we'll go up to here. Tom AC Reed. Alexei Quinones. Not too bad. Frank Reese. We're getting some value there. Scotty Sanchez, that gave up a lot. Hmm. Could give, get rid of Justin and get another guy quickly. Put some value here. Diaz, Henry Taylor, Chauncey Hornsby, Chris Kennedy. 
Damn, our players don't have value. At least these ones, which I understand why, because they suck, but... You know what I mean, we need some players of value down here. Tulip Mina! And Thopolis trade the farm, so we have no bat, any decent rookies to give up. Julian Rosaro. Damn, that gave up a lot. Okay, that's good. So we'll go and get rid of James. Is that good? Oh, he's 25 years old, though. I want to get rid of a guy who's going to be terrible. Pedro. Chris Kennedy, almost enough. What about Scotty Sanchez? Can we get rid of him? We need to make this trade, like, right now. Because I don't want to screw over our team just because we don't have a backup catcher that's reliable. Wait, where is Scotty Sanchez? Where's Scotty? Scotty, Jesus, man. Ah, these guys don't value. Um, wait, Brandon England. Oh, he's 20 years old though. Elmer. He, oh, he's 22 though. Justin, almost enough. We'll keep going up. Pedro, almost enough. Wait. Ah, we're gonna have to go and give up Daniel Cicilline in this trade. I'm sorry, but I have to make this trade. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing, but. We just have to make a trade like this. Just just to go and help the team right now. So we'll go and make this qu trade quickly to acquire Kurt Suzuki. I'm sorry, but I had to do it. So you acquire the man Kurt Suzuki off the Twins. I think it was the Twins. I'm pretty sure it's the Minnesota Twins. It's in, just as a backup for Russell Martin. Because Russell had to go and broke it, break his leg. God damn it, Russell. Getting up 8 overall, so that's something. I think he's a decent hitter too. He's a good fielder. He's a good contact uh, player against lefties, so he's got some value to him, I guess. Hitting at the, hitting, he's going to be hitting at the bottom of the order. We have no more... Not sure, Ploof. Uh, we'll put him in Kurt. There he is. So we have no more uh, Ari Dickey, so that means no more... Uh, what's his face? Josh Tolley. There you go. I'm trying to focus here. Get everything that we did. Okay, so our lineup looks good to go. Our starting pitching looks fine. Uh, Strowman finally met up an overall 87. It's good to see. We'll go and simulate the rest of the games up until we see Nigel Padgett starting. He's starting that game. Okay. So we'll go and simulate up to that game and I'll go and play that game and show the highlights. Quickly. There you go. Tation. I'll utilize one now one. Merkel Estrada, no. Oh, he's up for a few days. He pulled a muscle in his back, but he's me back. Oh, we take the L though. He went against Seattle though. Okay, we'll sim this game. Up until this one. Oh, we took both L's. We're down 2-0 in the series. But we won a few games, though. We swept Oakland. We won one against Arizona. Lost one. And we lost both against Seattle so far. But we've got our man, Nigel Pageant, starting. A rookie. He looks good. He's 1-2. He's not too bad. His ERA is way out the door. But hopefully we can go and win a game with Nigel Pageant. Today, we have a big matchup between the Seattle Mariners and the Toronto Blue Jays here in Rogers Center in Toronto. But we have our big players, Robinson Cano and Ho Josh Donaldson, taking on each other today in this key matchup of the day. They are very good players, and Robinson Cano can change the outcome of a game with a swing of a bat. But we have our man, Nigel Pageant, the rookie, taking the mound today for us, the lefty. He has a 1-2 and two record with a 6.86 ERA. Not too good on the season, but Nigel Pageant, he's going to soon fit in here at the MLB club here in Toronto. But first play of the day, they're going to ground out to Josh Donaldson, and we're going to get that easy out. The first out of the day. One and one no man on and one out in the first. But they're gonna have Nelson Cruz going up. He's gonna hit this high and deep. Get up ball. Get up ball. Gone. Home run. Nelson Cruz to left field. Just right pat right by a post. As they take a one to nothing lead here in the top of the first. Nigel Pageant already goes seen go a full inning without allowing a home run. I knew it was gonna happen. But Nigel Pageant, he's gonna go and soon settle in here late in the ball game. But Anyway, Nelson Cruz is 19th of the season, a 409 foot home run, and that is going to take a 1 to nothing lead here for the Seattle Mariners. The next batter, Nigel Pageant, he's going to strike him out. Caught looking right there as Kyle Seeger steps down, and that's going to end the inning. Juan Walker there is going to take the mound today for them. A 9 6 record, 2.99 ERA for them on the season. He's a very good pitcher. He's going to strike out Josh Donaldson to end the first inning for us right here. Josh Donaldson caught looking, but we're get Nigel Padgett is going to come up to pitch again. And they're going to line out right to left field, and that is going to be a single 
So one man on and one out. And they're gonna go and ground out to Darwin Barney and we're gonna pull that double play right there to end the inning right there. We're gonna go into the top of the third with Nigel Pageant. And they're gonna line it right to right field and Jose Batista almost makes the catch right there. But he drops it right in right field. So they have one man on, zero outs on the day. They have another batter up and he's gonna line it right to Josh Donaldson. And so they have one man on and one out on this inning but a good play by Josh Donaldson as he makes that catch right there but they're gonna go line it right down left field the left field line and they're gonna get a man on third and on first on that play a very good hit by them as they have the opportunity to get a sack fly and they're gonna go high and deep but we're gonna make the catch in the left outfield and they're gonna score a run on that sack fly to make it a two to nothing ball game here in the top of the third very good sack fly by them. They knew what they had to do, and they did ex exactly it as they go and score that sack fly. They're going to go, the next batter is going to go high and deep. So close, but not a home run. As we make the catch, Kevin Porter makes the catch there in the outfield to end the inning. But we have, a, we have a man, Desmond Jennings, up to bat. He's going to hit this ball high and deep to left field, and that ball is going to be gone. Home run, Desmond Jennings, as it is now a 2-1 to one ball game. Desmond Jennings, a few game simulation in games back, I went and scored a home run with him. It was almost the same as that one, but it was a no-doubter. But Desmond Jennings scores a home run for us, a 2-1 ball game. We needed, exactly what the, we needed exactly this, as now Desmond Jennings is his 10th home run of the season. 368 footer, so close, but he needed exactly that in order to score a home run. But a very good ho home run by Desmond Jennings, as we had to look at a replay of that one. A beauty, as that one is... His swing is just perfect. His batting stance and everything is perfect for hitting home runs. Anyway, Kurt Suzuki, he's going to line this one right down the center field line. As he's on, Kurt Suzuki, our man, the catcher. First hit of the day for him. And he's playing, proving pretty good offensively. As he goes, they're going to throw a wild pitch, and he's going to make it to second. So a man on second, no outs here in the inning after that home run. But Kevin Plar is up. Two outs, one man on second. He's going to hit this one down the left field line. And Kurt Suzuki, he's going to run home. As they even make an error to it, left field. And now Kevin Plar reaches second. So we have a man on second, two outs, as Kurt Suzuki drives in that run right there. Or runs that, runs in that run. And now it is a 2-2 two to two ball game. A good hit by Kevin Plar, very well placed one. Right down the left field line, almost the same as theirs. But they go and have a fielding error and make Kevin Plar on second. But Josh Donaldson is up. He's going to go and fl fly it out. Right into foul territory to end the inning right there. Josh Johnson flies out. And now we're going back to our man, Nigel Pageant, the rookie. Let's see what he can do. Top of the fourth one out. They're going to line it right past Darwin Barney in the right field for that single right there. So close to Darwin Barney, but not enough. As they, we come to pass, and now we're going up to the bat. And Edwin Encarnacion gets a single, our leadoff man. And now we have one on in, that, in this inning. Edwin Encarnacion extends his game hitting streak to 11 games now. Edwin Encarnacion had no idea he even had a 10 game hitting streak, but now he has 11 game hitting streak after getting that single right there. Nigel Padgett with the pitch, and they're going to line it right past Chris Colabello. Just a flutter right past Chris Colabello. I thought for sure Chris Colabello would have made that play, but I guess not. As it flies right over his head, so close. We got to go and maybe reevaluate Chris Colabello after that play. It's pretty hard to make, but he should have been able to make that one. But Desmond Jennings, he hit a home run last time. He's going to line this one right past the diving third baseman for a single. Our man Kurt Suzuki's up to bat, and he lines it one right past the third baseman again. Exactly like that Chris Colabello situation as Desmond Jennings heads to third. So you have runners on the corners right here. After that big Kurt Suzuki hit, his second of the day, right past that third baseman. That was high in a way, but Kurt hit swung at that one anyway. But that went right over the third baseman. Exactly like that Chris Colabello that play but anyway we have runners on the corners right here and we have our big batter up Troy Tulowitzki let's see what he can do and that home run is gone Troy Tulowitzki a three run shot to left field and now it is a 5-2 ball game Troy Tulowitzki I don't know how many homers he has in the season but he's been doing that a lot lately here in these game plays for some reason his batting swing is just his batting stance is just perfect for hitting home runs as Troy Dulewitzki knocks his first hit of the day, plus his first home run of the day, to make it a 5-2 ball game. We need to start hitting home runs like this on the daily in order to win ball games. But anyway, Troy Dulewitzki, 17 home runs in the season, 414 footer right there. 
as now it is a 5-2 ball game against the Mariners. We gotta look at this one again as that perfect swing. He knew that one is out of the park as he was hopping to first. But Tawan Walker, he's usually a really good pitcher, but some, surprisingly, he hits up, lets up another home run as he's pecking into the glove for some reason. I have no idea why, but Tawan Walker cannot believe it. And I'm pretty sure it is the end of Tawan Walker's reign here in Toronto. As Tawan Walker is taken out of the ball game by the Mariners, and they're bringing in another pitcher to face the Toronto Blue Jays lineup, and that is Nate Carnes. Righty, he's one and two in the season. He has one save, 3.86 ERA. He's not too bad, but we're gonna go and try and knock him out of the ball game here. Here is Josh Donaldson is up the bat. Let's see what he can do, and he's gonna get a single right past, right into the right field, and now we have a, a man on after that Troy Tulowitzki home run. So we get another single from Josh Donaldson, but. This is come to pass. We're back to pitching. As Nigel Padgett, he throws a strikeout. His second of the day, Nigel Padgett strikes out another yeah, batter. As now it is two, two out and one on. And he's going to go and strike out another one. And so now we get out of this inning here with one man on. And now it's a 5-2 ball game. Nine hits for us in the day. Six hits for them. Because we're bringing in Adam Octavino to pitch. Our offense really didn't do too much in that last inning but anyway Octavino he lot gets the line out right to left field right straight to Desmond Jennings too a perfect play by Desmond Jennings he was a really good he had to run a while too so we had the defensive positioning on but Jennings had to run a while and he yanks that catch right there a very good defense play by Desmond Jennings as now we're right back to batting but one out and Troy Tewitzki is gonna line that one right past the right fielder he does a dive for some reason and Troy Tewitzki is running the second and he gets a stand up double as Troy Tulowitzki last run, last time up to bat, he hit a homer, and now he hits a double. A leadoff double, in fact. But that was, I don't know why that outfielder even dove for that one. That was insanely good. I don't know why he did that, but benefits us anyway, as they make, I don't know if that was really an error, but we didn't really come to pass. As we, I don't know how we left Troy Tulowitzki in second right there, but we're bringing in Drew Storin. He gets a strikeout. First batter, and he strikes him out. Drew Storin's still up top of the eighth, and he's going to strike out another one to end the inning right there. So we're going in to the bottom of the eighth. We need to add some run support because we have 10 hits on the day. We need to get 11 here. But anyway, we have our man, Josh Donaldson, up to bat. He needs to do something again. And he's going to go in line and right to the second baseman, but it's going to go off his glove. And so they make an error right there as Josh Donaldson reaches first with one man on here in the bottom of the eighth. We need that one in order to get some run support, and we did it. As Edwin, he's going to go and ground out right to this, the pitcher, and they're going to go and throw it right past the first baseman it was almost a clear double play but Edwin he disrupts that play as they throw it right past Edwin so that if that would have landed the stands would have been double but Edwin Encarnacion induces that error right there as that is almost the same as that Jose Batista thing that Chase Utley rule thing the other day for the Blue Jays almost the same as that one but anyway we have one man on Edwin Encarnacion and we need to get some run support here you have a man Chris Colabello on, on he's going to go and hammer this one right to right field and that is almost a home run as it goes off the wall and so Chris Colabello is stand up double and Edwin's going home can we get him Edwin home no Edwin gets tagged out at home plate as that ends the inning right there Edwin Encarnacion I don't know why he's even running for home it would have been safe on third but we're bringing in Roberto Osuna to try and close out this game here for us hopefully with no home runs as Ed Robinson Cano's up to bat, and this one's going high and deep to left field, and that one is obviously gone. Robinson Cano homers right here in the top of the ninth to make it a 5-3 to three ball game. So Roberto Osuna, I thought for sure he would have not been able to let up home runs, but he did anyway. We still have that run support, a two-run lead at this point for us. But we need to keep this one here, otherwise that would suck tremendously. But Robinson Cano is eighth home run of the season. It's three, a 349 footer right there. They decrease that lead down to two. Anyway, Roberto Osuna, he's going to strike with the next man he sees after allowing up that home run. And that is going to end the inning right there. So Jays win it 5-3 to three against the Seattle Mariners. Gibby's happy. The players are happy. I'm happy more is the most important thing. But anyway, we get the win here today at Rogers Center for the fans at home. But I'm pretty sure our man Troy Tulowitzki is our player of the game. Is he hit, hit that home run and that double? in order to make us get this win. A 3-1 shot from Tulo proves to be deadly as we win this game. But Nigel Padgett's first victory in a while as since his first start in the MLB. But Roberto Osuna gets us the save here. Nigel Padgett with the win. And Troy Tulowitzki with the P-O-T-G.
But anyway, on this episode off, we're here, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode in here. And thanks for watching, and I will see you later.